So, you may have heard, I will be at this year's HHN. Me. Brian, fi give it up. We got the first speculation map. It's not happening. <laughs> What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel that takes you through the fog with probably one of the best days that we had of the year so far. That being the first official speculation map from HN Nightmares has officially released. Before we get into what is on the spec map, we do want to preface this video by saying that while HN Nightmares in the past has been very accurate with their spec maps and is a very credible source, nothing is official until Universal announces it. So. With that said, let's get into this map. Let's go ahead and dive into the first house that we have featured on the speculation map, which is to no surprise, the only official house being Chucky. Now Chucky was already announced officially by Universal back in Halloween of last year. So we do know that this house 100% is coming to the event and it will be based on the USA sci-fi TV show rather than the older movies. So we are, Hesitant, excited, but not super excited for this house, but we have heard good things about this show, so hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, we, we're not the biggest Chucky fans, but we haven't seen the show, so we don't want to say anything too much about it because we can't knock on something we don't know about. So we'll see the show and we'll get more of our thoughts later on. Next up on the list, we have what is going to be my most anticipated house probably for the entire season, and that is going to be the Universal Classic Monsters, Phantom and Dracula. Now, something that's a little interesting with the way that this is worded, it says Phantom slash Dracula. It's not like a Phantom versus Dracula. Of course, this is just speculation and stuff, so it might be something along the lines of that. However, all I know is this is my biggest dream for an HHN classic monsters house, being Phantom and Dracula. Those are my two favorite, absolute favorite uh, monsters from the Universal Classic Monsters. So I'm looking forward to that. I know this is something that I'm super excited for, and it's something we're gonna be seeing a lot for the years to come, being the classic monsters. Yeah, and I am very excited for the scenery in this house, if this is a house, because the scenery between, you know, that Victorian kind of castle look and then the theater, I feel like it'll just be a very extravagant house. And next up on the map is another IP, and that is The Last of Us. Now, we're assuming that this is based off of the HBO show because it was speculated for last year and then ended up getting pushed back, but it could be the video game as well. They're very closely tied together, so either way, we're very, very excited for this yeah, one. Yeah, and which is a good thing that you bring up, like the video game or the show, since they're about like 90% accurate with what's going on either way. It doesn't really matter which way HHN ends up going, but if they do go the HBO show route, that means we have an HBO contract and relationship with HHN and HBO now. So looking forward to that, especially it being in a soundstage potentially, since that's what it is on the spec map, could mean we're gonna have some big sets and some beautiful scenery and some scary clickers for The Last of Us, or whatever you call them, zombies, clickers, bloaters. I've seen. We need to touch up on it, but according to what we've seen in this show, we're getting new to The Last of Us stuff. So excited for that one. That one's gonna be a strong IP, and we're hoping that this stays on the map instead of last year kind of just getting cut off. The next house on our list is going to be our first original house, which is Krampus. Now, we did have Krampus back in HHN 26, but this was an IP, so it was based off of the movie, whereas it looks like this one will be based off of just the general folklore of Krampus, which I feel like could be really cool, it could be really dark, but we also get that winter Christmassy vibe. We always have to have like a cold house, so yeah. this will be that house for this year, and I, mm -hmm. I'm really excited for it, especially because we didn't get to do Krampus back in 2016. Yeah, and the HHN fans love like cold houses, like snowy, wintry ones, and I think it's because in Orlando, it's a little muggy and it's a little hot still during the Halloween time. So having a nice cold house puts us in the spirit of actually getting into the season, which is always great. And then of course, having Krampus, we did have the uh, little All Hallows Eve boutique featured in Islands of Adventure have some Krampus themed stuff. So maybe that was a little foreshadowing to what's to come, but 
like I said, we don't know. This is the speculation map, and we're just talking about what we see. So hopefully it does come true because we're a fan of it, but until then, we'll just have to wait. Now the next house that we have on our lineup is also another original feature here, but it's just a symbol. It's just this nautical like anchor that we have. Uh, we've had heard some rumors and stuff of people talking about it being potentially a Dead Man Pier house again. We don't know how we feel about that. I mean, Deadman Pier was great, but having another one back to back, okay. But we also heard from more like older fans that we could have the SS Frontanic refeatured back at HHN. Now, my history with HHN doesn't go that far back, so I don't really know what to say about it, but it's an original, so. Yeah, I also didn't go for that year, so I don't have much to say about it either, except if you watch our channel, you know how I feel about nautical themes, and I'm just not the biggest fan. So whatever this house is, it's probably going to be at the bottom of my excitement list. Sadly. Yeah. Now headed back to the IPs featured here, we have the Horrors of Blumhouse featuring Megan and Insidious. Now, we're not the biggest fans of Megan. We did see it in theaters, and Insidious, I've actually never seen. I believe Stephanie might have seen. Did you? Yes, yes, I have seen the Insidious <laughs> movies, but this is a new one that's coming out in July. Yes, which is done by Blumhouse. So we will unfortunately be seeing that movie, which means <laughs> I will have to go see it. Um, I, we'll see. I've heard scary things about Insidious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it, but uh, to see these as a house at HHN. Now, Megan, I don't really know how I feel about Megan being a house, but they did say they have an unrated version coming to Peacock pretty soon, which we will be checking out. I'm very excited for that. I definitely thought when we saw the movie that it was okay, but it would have been really good if it had an R rating. So I'm excited to see that. Maybe that means that the house will be be able to be a little bit more gory or a little bit scarier than what the movie was in its theatrical release. but. We do know that Blumhouse has a very good relationship with HHN, so we're not surprised about this being on the spec map at all. Um, but yeah, we're not crazy excited about this one, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Now the next house that we have featured on the first version of the spec map is actually an original, and it was a scare zone back in HHN 26, being Layer of the Banshees. So again, this was a year that we did not attend, so we didn't get to experience the scare zone, but honestly, if HHN and the creative team thinks that it would make a great house, then I can imagine that it would make a great house. So we will see what it looks like. Yeah, we don't have much <laughs> to say about this since we've never seen it. We don't know really what it's about, but looking at some like photos and concepts and videos from it back in the day. I can see how they can expand this into a bigger house and maybe even scarier, but we're just gonna have to wait to see if this stays true and stays to the map. Now we will be going further in detail with all the things on the speculation map, as well as like the houses featured, the shows, and maybe even scare zones and the logistics of the park in a live stream coming up this Tuesday, February 21st, around 8.30 p.m. So make sure you guys are subscribed and click that bell icon to be notified so you know when we do post that live. Now getting back into the speculation map, the next house up on our list is another original and probably what I was most excited to see on this list, which is Devil Dogs. And the reason I am so excited to see this on the list is because it is a reference back to Slaughter Cinema from 2018, and that is probably my favorite house I've ever been through. So I am very, very excited for this. Yeah, I unfortunately never got to experience Slaughter Cinema, which is something that has plagued my entire life that I just never got to witness this house from all the great things Steph has said and from all the fans of HHN. Um, but Devil Dogs is a one section that had featured in Slaughter Cinema that was like a werewolf biker gang bar kind of theme. So very like grudgy and pretty cool looking. So that's all I can say because I've never got to see the house. But from what Steph talks about, it seems like it would be an amazing original house if they could actually do a spinoff like they did recently with Yeti back in HHN 29, which was a section from Slaughter Cinema in HHN 28. Moving on throughout our list, the next house is well, we don't really know because it is just a symbol of a guitar with a lightning bolt. Now, when I first saw this, my first impression was ACDC, but we did see other people talking about maybe Metallica or it could just be in reference to music overall. We do know that we had The weekend last year. We could also see The weekend on FM this year. 
So it could be a reference to that. We don't really know. Yeah, I honestly have no idea. Um, just like Steph said, saw the guitars and okay, rock music possibly. Got the lightning bolt. ACDC has that right in their logo, literally. Uh, but Metallica is the same way. So either one of those two, I'm not against. I would love to see either one, preferably ACDC, huge ACDC fan, but Metallica is great as well. And having like a rock themed house would be just freaking awesome at the event. But it could also symbolize random stuff, anything that holds a guitar or if there's lightning in the sky. Uh, I know we even joked about Eddie Munson and Stranger Things being kind of that thing, but I don't think that's happening this year. So, but really we don't know what this could be. So we're just gonna have to sit tight on this and just see what it formulates over the next couple of months. And the final house that we have featured on the first version of this year's speculation map is whatever that symbol side means. Now I did research it up and it does mean Japanese creature in Japanese. So we're getting something Japanese creature wise. That's all I know. I mean, is it gonna be like Godzilla? Probably not, which would be cool, but I don't think HHN can pull such a thing off. It would be interesting to see that though. That would be, but there's a whole bunch of Japanese folklore and things that they could really spin off, especially since it's an original. So I'm looking forward to what that could be. However, I have no idea, but I just know if it's something vibed around like Kyoto or Tokyo, like the old like Japanese like style architecture, it could be a very beautiful house. So that wraps up all of the houses on this speculation map. The one thing that we do want to also mention is that we see Nightmare Fuel is on the list again for this year. And we aren't surprised about this. We do expect Nightmare Fuel to be making a return for a few years. And we're very excited about that because this show is amazing. The fans love it. So we're not surprised and we are very excited. So that does it for the entire speculation map. That being the first version of this year's HHN 32 speculation map done by HN Nightmares. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up for it does help our channel get more exposure with the YouTube algorithm and make sure you guys stay tuned for that live stream that we have coming up this Tuesday on the 21st. We have a lot to talk about. We're gonna go more in depth with those IPs for this year's event. So that's going to do it for us in today's video. And until the next one, we can't wait to see you guys there and catch you guys in the fog. Peace out, everyone. Bye.